Welcome to Carleton's Math Corner. Today we're going to continue our study on inequalities. At this time, please make sure you have a math journal, uh, something to write with, as well as your vocabulary packet. Our target today is I can translate inequalities. Uh, translate just means I can write it in words. And so we're going to start with an inequality and then we're going to write it. Um, we're going to write out the solutions for that inequality. And so here are some examples. There's four different examples. Uh, what do you notice? Well, I notice that each of these examples, um, whether it is you know greater than or equal to, less than, greater than, or less than or equal to, no matter what, all of them, when I translate them, they all start with all real numbers. Now the reason why they all start with that is because remember we're looking for the solutions for this inequality and this variable stands for, well, all real numbers. Um, any real number, in this case, all real numbers that are greater than or equal to negative four. Uh, this one is all real numbers that are less than six. And this one's all real numbers greater than negative four. And then lastly, all real numbers less than or equal to six. So what we're doing today is um, we're looking at inequalities that have already been graphed. And then we're going to write out a statement that includes basically all the solutions for that inequality. And so this inequality, um, well, I noticed that it's an open dot, so it can't be greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. It has to be greater than or, or just uh, less than. And so I notice that the ray is going off to the right. It's going to the positive. So I know that it's greater than. So I choose a variable and I'm going to put greater than. And then I notice that the open dot is on three. And so here is my inequality, but now I need to write it in words. So I'm going to start off with all real numbers. If I can type today, all real numbers that are, and um, it's greater than symbol. So I'm going to say that are greater than three. And that's, you know, that statement basically is saying that we're looking all at all numbers they can't be equal to three, but they are greater than. So those are so our solutions. Um, for the next one, I notice it's a closed dot this time on seven. And I notice it's going to the right again. And so we have another greater than one. However, this one though is greater than or equal to because it includes seven. And so this is what my inequality statement would look like. And if I want to write, or when I translate this, I would start off again with all real numbers. And that are, in this case, greater than or equal to. Okay, so we have greater than or equal to on this one. Because we have that line underneath that represents, and or we have a closed dot. And with our inequality, we have a line underneath that represents that it includes seven as well. Um, our last one, I notice it's an open dot, but this one is going off to the left. The ray is going to the left, so that means less. it's less than. And the open dot is on eight, and so x is less than eight. So that means it's all real numbers that are less than eight. And so today, that, this is what we're doing. We're translating. We're writing it in words. We, we first have to write it, you know, as an inequality, and then, then um, we can write it out in words. And so what I would like for you to do, here are three, any, um, three inequalities that are graphed, and I would like for you to translate them. Thank you so much for joining me at Carleton's Math Corner, and I look forward to meet, meeting with you again. Have a great day.